picture in your mind a time when you were told you couldn't do something because you were too young. I'm not talking about things you aren't legally allowed to do. For example, I can't drive yet because I'm 11. I'm talking about when you had a dream and adults shut you down because they think you are just too young. For all the kids listening to this talk, think about if you've ever had an adult underestimate your potential. Maybe you had a great idea to make a business product and wanted to pitch it on Shark Tank, but your parents said, maybe when you're older. Now, I know I always hear this response. Raise your hand if you've heard that too. I am here to tell you that you don't have to wait until you're bigger to do something big. Every day, adults underestimate what we kids can accomplish. But what I found is that you must be persistent and prove to them that you can do anything you believe you can do. For example, as a younger child, I always loved to write. I remember writing my very first book when I was only six years old. It was 12 pages long and my dad illustrated it for me. I asked my parents if I could publish my story. I was so excited. I mean, I just written a book of my very own. Of course, I wanted everyone to see it. Yet, my parents told me, maybe when you're older. Ugh, those words again. They didn't think I could be an author yet. So I decided to prove them wrong and held a sale in my community. Here's a picture of the first person who purchased my book. Although this could have been seen as a great accomplishment, it still prevented me from my ultimate goal of becoming a published author. A few years later, I wrote another story about Bella, a biracial girl who struggles with fitting in because I wanted to see someone who looked like me in a book and I wanted others to see themselves as well. I hope to send a message about how important it was to treat others with respect and that it doesn't matter how someone looks on the outside, it matters how they look on the inside. This time, the book was 41 pages of greatness. My dad illustrated the book once again. My first book was really for me, but this book had a lesson for all. With more persistence, and by that I mean constantly annoying my mom and dad about my goal, my parents allowed me to publish it. After all, they did say, when you are older. Finally, I became a self-published author on Amazon at 10 years old, and here I am today writing my third book at 11. But don't just take my word for it. You too can aim to do something great no matter your age. Did you know that children can actually accomplish bigger things than adults? The reasoning behind this is that children's brains are still developing. According to researchers at Wa of University of Rochester Medical Center, the brain is not fully formed until the age of 25. Also, researchers at Washington University in St. Louis found that adults' children's brains and adults' brains are at two different stages of development. When a child performs a task, the way they do it and the end product they get is different from the way an adult will perform the same task. This means that while children and teenagers can have unique, fresh ideas and have creative minds and are curious about the world around them, adults see the world differently in less exciting ways. Why should we have to wait until we're old and have boring ideas? Right now is when our brain wants to help solve problems in our world in ways that nobody could have ever thought of. I'm here to tell you the kids don't want to wait until they're older to do amazing things, and they shouldn't. Kids have great ideas, and we want to help change the world now. Let me show you a few examples of kids who took action on a bigger scale, despite what adults thought they could do. This is Mariana Kopmi, a youth activist, also known as Little Miss Flint, who raised awareness of the water crisis in Flint, Michigan. The water there contained lead, which made people very sick. Amariana, an eight-year-old, saw the struggle her state was having. She wanted to make sure that the president at the time, Barack Obama, was aware of this issue, so she wrote him a letter. Barack Obama did not respond at first. After all, he was the president and had a lot more to do than answer a letter from a little girl. He probably did not think what she was saying was important because she was just a kid. After a few months of not hearing back, 
Amariana's mom, Louis Brunzel, got a call that the president was coming to Michigan to meet Amariana and to witness the firsthand destruction caused by the city's lead-tained water supply. After this, President Barack Obama thanked Amariana for the letter and knew he had to make a change. He eventually approved a budget of $100 million to address the situation. Now, numerous people are working towards getting Flint, Michigan's water better and safer, all because of a kid. Ryan Hickman, a young boy from California, also made an impact on our world, on our world. Ever since he was a toddler, he cared for his environment. When he was three years old, he went to recycling centers with his dad and cast in a few small bags of cans and bottles. From that day on, Ryan knew that recycling was going to be a big part of his future and that he was going to change the world. Ryan's love for his environment made him start his own company called Ryan's Recycling. In only five years, he recycled almost 300,000 cans and bottles and raised almost $5,000 towards cleaning our ocean. He did this by donating the money he collected, the trash he collected, to a recycle bank. There, they will give you money for recycling. He did not stop there. Ryan donated all of this money to the Pacific Marine Mammal Center because he wanted to keep trash from getting into the ocean and save the animals. The Pacific Marine Mammal Center is an organization that rescues, rescues, rehabs, releases after treatment, and researches animals. So, adults, if you have underestimated any kids in your life, here's what you need to know. You are making us think that we children cannot achieve what we want just because of our age. And if parents continue saying this to us, guess what? We are going to start believing it and we will start doubting ourselves. This will create a whole new problem, one where kids won't believe they can do anything adults can do. And where did that lead us to? A world without leaders? What a catastrophe that would be. I mean, if eight-year-olds Amariana and Ryan can influence the president and improve our environment, and I can become a published author spreading motivational positive lessons at 11, you better believe that all children can make a difference. It doesn't need to be something that will change the world. For example, George Nissen invented the trampoline at 16, and Frank Epperson invented the popsicle at 11. And who doesn't love trampoline and popsicles? So to all the kids watching, keep thinking and continue being creative. As you can see, you don't have to start big. Any change could be a step towards a better world for all of us. And to all the parents watching, start believing that kids can do anything they set their minds to and maybe even help us achieve our goals. Doing this will give us the confidence to make changes in the world that even some of you are not willing to make. Because whether you're ready or not, one day, we are no longer going to be small kids, but our ideas will stay big and only get bigger. Thank you.